as a lollipop, Deadpool as a marshmallow, a pizza for Doctor Strange, chips for Batman, and a burger for Wolverine? Find out in our new video, what your favorite superheroes eat at our special superhero cafe. The kitchen is buzzing, and it looks more like a forge. Peter is creating something outstanding. Sparks are flying around the entire Marvel Universe, because the mighty Thor's hammer is being made here. Make the handle of Thor's hammer out of a wooden skewer using hot glue. Paint the handle brown. Define the details with silver. Mix five ounces of sugar, one ounce of water, and two ounces of corn syrup. Cook for five minutes on medium heat. Add black food coloring. Pour the hot syrup into a rectangular ice mold. And stick it in the handle. Let the lollipop harden. Coat the hammer with silver edible powder. Peter is trying to lift the hammer. It's way heavier than he expected. Although this hammer is a lollipop, it still has magical powers. How come? Peter Parker just made this caramel by himself. The hammer doesn't give in. Finally, Peter defeats this magical tool. Yay! Now he can enjoy the candy. Our bartender Peter is busy playing with superhero toys. But an actual superhero is already in the cafe. Wolverine orders an X-Burger for mutants. Cooking this dish will take some time. But Wolverine is not used to waiting. Bring in the burger. Hurry up! Cut a burger bun. Coat the bottom with sauce. Cut a pickle into circles. Put them onto the bun. Put on a chicken patty. Place slices of tomato on top. Cover it with a slice of cheese. Add lettuce. Put on the top of the bun. Cut sharp triangles from mirror cardboard. Score the line in the middle with a sharp stick. Bend the triangles. Trim the edges. Cut a bamboo skewer. And hot glue it to the center of the triangle. Make three Wolverine claws. Stick them into the burger. Our chef is fussing around with the dish. And Wolverine needs to go save the world. He rushes Peter and skillfully catches the burger with his signature steel claws. Thanks for the snack, pal. But Wolverine doesn't like paying for food. Put it on Magneto's tab. There are two charming guests in our superhero cafe. Captain Marvel and her bestie. A special cupcake discount? Excellent! Carol will take two. But Peter puts regular muffins onto the counter. That's not good enough. Because this is Captain Marvel. The greatest hero in the entire universe. She needs a special super muffin. The bartender admits his mistake and quickly fixes it. Mix 11 ounces of flour, 3 and a half ounces of cocoa, 9 ounces of sugar, 1 teaspoon of baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Add 1 egg. Pour in 3 ounces of vegetable oil, 6 ounces of milk, and 4 ounces of espresso coffee. Thoroughly mix the ingredients together. Make batter. Apply red and blue food colorings to pieces of parchment paper. Put them inside a muffin mold 
and pour in the batter. Bake it in an oven for 40 minutes at 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Whip up cream. Add in food coloring and put it into pastry bags. Decorate the top of the muffin. Attach a Captain Marvel logo to the cupcake. Peter brings out the biggest cupcake they have. It's made in honor of Captain Marvel. This dessert needs a major award. Thanks, Peter. The universe will remember you. Gamora comes to our superhero cafe. She's sad because she lost her friend Gru, and she has a sharp knife to help her with her grief. This mood makes her dangerous. But our bartender Peter knows how to cheer her up. He will perform a trick and revive Groot. Peter starts his cooking show. Take a piece of cheese. Put it into the bread and water it with a galactic drink. Now, wait just a bit. And a little bit more. At last, cheese sprouts show up. Make a base for Groot from bamboo skewers. Wrap strings of smoked cheese around the base. Fasten the cheese with edible glue. Tie the strings at the end and cut off the excess. Shape fingers. Wrap Groot's body in cheese. Fasten it with toothpicks. Cut Groot's head out of a solid piece of smoked cheese. Scrape eyes and a mouth with a sharp stick. Paint the face with food coloring. Attach the head to the body. Cut rye bread to fit it in a flower pot. Put it in and stick Groot into the bread. Put pieces of bread on top as soil. Add accents with food coloring. Put in microgreens. And baby Groot grows in the flower pot. Plus, it's edible. This cheese friend is way better. You can always have a bit of it whenever you are at a black hole. The next guest is the mysterious Doctor Strange. It's an honor. Doctor Strange is very arrogant even when he orders food. Who do these superheroes think they are? Our bartender, Peter Parker, gives Doctor Strange an exquisite pizza. Coat a ready pizza crust with tomato sauce. Soak brine cheese in water for a few hours. Then place it onto a paper towel to take away the excess water. Stretch out the softened cheese. Draw the iconic Doctor Strange pattern on the sauce with a wooden skewer. Place the strips of cheese on top in the pattern. Bake it! Peter pays for being rude to the Sorcerer Supreme. Doctor Strange opens a portal. And the poor bartender falls through the floor and the ceiling. For goodness' sake, give me a break! Doctor Strange is enjoying his pizza while Peter flies around. Yummy! Poor Peter barely manages to get out of the portal, but Strange makes a portal in the floor again. That's all right, Doctor Strange. Peter Parker will take his revenge on you. Peter's shift is over. Where is his co-worker? Here she comes. It's Shuri, the princess of Wakanda. And she will quickly replace Peter as a superhero bartender. Deadpool has already come to the cafe. He's being rude again. 
but the Princess of Wakanda threatens him with one of the Infinity Stones. She can change reality. Ooh, I'm so scared. You don't believe me, Deadpool? Then Shuri quickly turns the Super Jerk into a Super Marshmallow. Add two ounces of water to a third of an ounce of gelatin. Let it soak in. Whip up two egg whites with a mixer. Mix three and a half ounces of sugar, two ounces of water, and three ounces of corn syrup. Cook the mixture for seven minutes on a medium heat. And pour in the egg whites. Keep mixing and pour in gelatin. Whip the mixture for five more minutes. Add red and black food colorings and leave some white mixture. Squeeze red semi-spheres onto parchment paper using a pastry bag. Apply black Deadpool eyes on top and add white stripes as pupils. Let the marshmallows set for an hour. Shuri puts her Deadpool marshmallows into a cup of milk. This is where you're supposed to be. Deadpool begs for forgiveness. Please, forgive me. Cry as much as you want, sweetheart. Shuri won't give in. This cafe needs a hero. And this hero needs chips. Shuri has something to offer Batman. These are iconic bat-shaped chips. Mix four ounces of corn flour with three ounces of wheat flour. Add half a teaspoon of salt, sugar, and black ground pepper. Put in a teaspoon of paprika. Stir the ingredients. Pour in a teaspoon of vegetable oil and gradually pour in four ounces of warm milk. Make dough. Add black food coloring. Sprinkle the surface with flour and roll out the dough. Cut out chips with a special Batman cutter. Bake the chips for five to seven minutes at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Add turmeric and finely chopped garlic to sour cream. Serve the chips with the sauce. Batman tastes his special chips. They are so delicious. He takes the whole serving. There is no such thing as too many bat chips. Suddenly, the most dangerous guest appears in the cafe. It's Thanos. He will write a bad review and destroy our cafe. I need to win his favor with a special bar of chocolate immediately. Melt four ounces of isomol in a microwave. Add food coloring. Pour the colored isomol onto an even surface in a thin layer. When it cools, crush it into tiny pieces. Pour out a drop of melted isomol and press the pieces into it, shaping a crystal. Make crystals with different food colorings. Copy the colors of the Infinity Stones. Melt milk chocolate. Put the sugar crystals into a chocolate bar mold. And pour the melted chocolate on top. Let it harden. Melt cocoa butter. Mix it with edible pearl powder. Sprinkle the hardened bar of chocolate with it. Make it look like a galaxy. Cover the chocolate with clear gift wrap. And attach a printed label. Thanos gets his bar of chocolate with infinity stones. He's pleased, so he goes away. Phew! Praise Marvel! Our cafe still exists. Did you like our superhero food recipes? Then write in the comments which food you would cook for your favorite superhero. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new superhero ideas on Troom Troom.